The show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Now at the plate, Gene Segura, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 3-2 pitch. And that ball misses ball, ball four. Ball. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. The left field. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He's hitless in the first two games of the series. 0 for 8. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Here's Bryce Harper now. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 home. Segura, the runner at first with two gone. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. And the runner back safely. Down the third baseline. Davis has got it. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Stepping up now. Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here now the 2-2. Drilled right back up the middle. And this is going to get on through in the center. A leadoff hit. The third baseman. J.D. Into the box. J.D. Davis. Pitch taken. Several inches below the zone in fact. Three and one now. And it's up to a three two full count now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And another foul ball. And the payoff pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. It's right on the money, and Real Muto got him. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses ball four, and now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. So here's Pete Alonzo. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Down low, two balls and a strike. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now and he misses with that one down and in it's a full count now three and two good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first back up the middle and that's through for a hit and the throw will come in quickly from center so despite the hit and run they won't get the extra that base here into the box now Michael Conforto 
a little early and now it's even at two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Two and two. Here it is. And it's fouled away. He's set the 2-2. Two -two. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Hard hit ball to second. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Didi Gregorius. The 1 1 home. Hey. Down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. High fly ball after straightaway center. Marisnik will wait on it. One gone. Riding in, JT Realmuto in previous duels with the Grom. He's totaled four hits in 25 tries. He's also gone down on strikes nine times. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Fouled off. The 2 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there's out number two. So next to the plate for the Phils, Nick Williams. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1. No score here as we play inning number two. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He went deep in the contest last night. The 1-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Yuenna Cespedes. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Slap hard the opposite way. Harper is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. Bottom of the second here with no score. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. And in steps Scott Kingery. He was hitless in the shutout last night. One ball and two strikes to count. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And the pitcher strides into the batter's box here, Zach Wheeler. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. And a 
swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Gene Segura standing in. In his seven at bats in the series, he's picked up five hits, so he's really been locked in. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Here it comes. Line drive to left. And the Phillies are into the hit column. To the plate now, Andrew McCutcheon. This is on the ground over to first. A dive, and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Bottom of the third now, so here now is the pitcher, Jacob deGrom. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. So now to the plate, Ahmed Rosario. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Line, but speared on a hop. And a good throw gets him one gun. Next for the Mets, J.D. Davis. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Count still full, three and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. The battle, number two. At the plate, Jeff McNeil. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this will bang up against the wall. He's in at second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Standing in now, Pete Alonzo. And he misses two and one. One out and a runner on second base. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with the one away. Number 30, Michael Conforto. In now, Michael Conforto. Hard on the ground towards short. One there. And the return throw is wide and not in time as it pulled him off the bag. And they'll settle for just the one. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Digging in now, Bryce Harper. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The first base Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A ball and two strikes. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. 
Man, the game's changing. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup the as there are two away now. The 1-1 home. I got two Hasn't one, seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And the 2-1. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Hit out towards second. Kingery's there. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Here's Jake Marisnik comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 2. Misses, ball 2. One out, nobody on. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So two are gone in the Mets half of the fourth and that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University Jacob deGrom the count now at two and two Wheeler into his motion. Here's the pitch swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Riding in once again, JT Realmuto. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the payoff pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. At the plate, Nick Williams flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike One number ball, two. two I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two the down to start the fifth. Second base. No runs, just Got one hit, and no two. errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he fouls this one off. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Now batting. Into the box now. Zach Wheeler hits softly on the ground to third. Davis brings it in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. to the top of the order now and up next will be the shortstop Ahmed Rosario one and two here it comes slider swung on and grounded towards short and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play so the bases are empty with one man gone and into bed next will be J.D. Davis now the two one there. Jeff McNeil is on deck. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. The bat, number six. To the plate now, Jeff McNeil. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. So first and second with one man gone. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler.
it toward the right side. Segura for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura last time through was a base hit. Here it comes on one and one. Fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. Philly shortstop in front in the count three and one. Great A.B. up to this point a walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Conforto is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. The 1-1. One -one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. Two and two the count. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper hits next. This one's down to third. Davis grabs it cleanly, and that's the second out. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. He is 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Harper. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Victor Rano will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 64. Victor. Digging in, Michael Conforto. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. The 2 1 home. Grounded to the right. Kingery's there. And that's the first down. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. The 1-1. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1-2. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. You want a Cespedes striding in next. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenna Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Cespedes behind the ball in two strikes. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. How about it? So a runner at first now with nobody out. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Ball even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. 
But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Stepping up to the plate, JT Realmuto. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. One and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Ready once again, Jake Marisnik. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-1 home. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Up with it, Real Muto. The throw to first is in time, one down. So here's the Mets pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Now the 2 1 pitch is a called strike on the changeup. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Hit hard down the right field line. But foul. Bases are empty. One man out. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Next up for New York, Ahmed Rosario. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. This has popped up. Hoskins over to his left, and that retires the side. Up next will be Nick Williams. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Coming to the plate now, Scott Kingery. He's one for two in the ball game. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. Ground ball right side. He's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Neil Walker will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Number 12. Neil Walker. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Gene Segura would be next. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. David Robertson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 30, David. Robert. Now to the plate, J.D. Davis. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, the 1-2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2-2. Two and two. You know he doesn't want this at-bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Number 
and fifth. Into the box, Jeff McNeil. That's in. Both and he lays off for a ball, two and one. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. With three and one pitch. He has swung on and missed a full count now. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now yeah. next will be the Mets the cleanup hitter, base. Pete Alonzo. So far, two for three oh, in this one. Go. The 2 1 home. That's ball three. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Here's the 3 1. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. So a big spot here. Bases loaded, nobody out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. <laughs> He's just thrashing out there right now. I don't think he knows where anything is going. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Digging in to try it again, Wilson Ramos. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Count is one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. On a line to shortstop. So here's Joanna Cespedes. He went down on strikes last time up. Uh, offered a low one there, but came up empty. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Hit on the ground out to short. The throw pulls him off the bag. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. Jose Alvarez will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Stepping in now, Jake Marisnik. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, 3-2. and two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Popped him up. Segura is there for it. And the inning is over. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one two. And this is popped up near second base. And there's your first out of the inning. At the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Now Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Now 
what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Gone into the upper tank. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. At the plate now, Reese Hoskins. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Philly down to their last strike. Good battle. Count remains full. Another one sent foul. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, he was gunning for a complete game shutout, but it just wasn't in the cards here. But anytime you can go nine innings and give up only one single run, you've done pretty good for yourself and your team. Five to one, the final total in today's game. New York led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jacob deGrom earns his first win of the season, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, one run on three hits. No errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Jacob DeGrom. His record is now one and one. The loss goes to Zach Wheeler. He falls to 0 and 2. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.